arrive in Australia, I always do the same thing. I walk out of the airport doors and I take a big breath of the fresh air with the eucalyptus smell and it always gets me back in the mood of being in Australia again. Well, I'm a geneticist and I work on aging and what I'm trying to do is extend people's healthy lifespan by about 10 years. Why that's important, particularly now, is that the world is getting older and sicker. Because we're just targeting one disease at a time, we're ending up with people in nursing homes for 10 years in a frail state, even with dementia. What we're trying to do is to provide people with medicines that will keep them younger for longer. And that means not just cost savings, but society will be a much better place and families will be healthier and together for longer as well. The most challenging part of my job is to know that there's a brighter future um, and it's frustrating not being able to get there faster. The most rewarding is actually having teams of people breaking new ground, discovering things that really I never dreamed we could discover and seeing those translate into medicines that we think will help millions of people. Being named one of the most influential people in the world by Time magazine was quite a shock because when I go home I can barely get my kids to pick their clothes off the floor. But it was also um, a real honour that now made me think, gosh, I better do something important so that I can prove that I deserve this award. The book that had an enormous impact on me is a book called The Black Swan by Nassim Taleb. And what he describes there is that success comes from exposing yourself to a lot of variety and chaos, go and live in Manhattan, or meet a lot of different people, and out of that you can pick the most important things to follow up with. And, and that's really, I think, the secret to success. It's being able to find the nuggets of opportunity in life. Thank you.